Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to install VMware on Windows and I will go very basic step by step and we will learn how to download and install VMware, how to create a virtual machine on VMware, how to add a ISO image for an Ubuntu operating system and then we will also see if required how we can disable Hyper-V so that we can work with VMware on Windows. So let's get started and to save some time I have also written these steps. Let me just copy these steps here and we will go step by step. So step number one is we have to download VMware Workstation from this link. All these notes and links will be available with this video in the description section. So I will go to my Windows system and go to this link. So this is vmware.com workstation. You can go to products and workstation and here if you scroll down you will find workstation for Windows and click on download now and it will start the download. Now in my case I already have this downloaded. If I go to my downloads folder you can see VMware workstation is available here. So I will go here and just run the installer and I am using a AWS EC2 Windows system. So if I run the installer now, it will start installation of VMware. So this is the st second step, install VMware and click next and read and accept the license agreement and next and this is the location where it will be installed. You can change this location as well. I will click on next and I will leave all this default and next and install. So this will start the installation process for VMware workstation and once the installation is done we can start VMware workstation and then create virtual machines on VMware. So let's just wait for this to get completed and meanwhile let me also show you the Hyper-V. So in Windows Hyper-V is the default uh, virtualization process or system available and sometimes if Hyper-V is enabled we are not able to use any other virtualization software like VMware or Workstation. So for now I will just click on finish and I'm just going to go to my command line or I will go to PowerShell. I will right click on Windows icon here and open PowerShell as admin. You can also do it on command line. So this is the command that you can run to check the Hyper-V status. So let me just show you this is the command. I will also keep all these commands in the description. So if I run this command you can see in my case Hyper-V is available but not installed or enabled. In case it is enabled you can disable it using this uh, command and to enable it again use, you can use this command. Also you can go to your control panel and search for turn windows features on or off and in my case I am getting to server manager. You can if you go to turn windows feature on or off you can also see a window like this let me show you in the images so if I go to the images you can see something like this in your system and here you can see you can disable Hyper-V from here or if you get to the server manager you can also do it from here so if you go to server manager if you go to manage you can say remove roles and features and next and next and here you can see Hyper-V. In my case it is already not installed so I do not have to do anything as of now. I will close this. So you can do it from command line using these commands or you can do it from turn windows feature on or off from the control panel. So now let us come back to VMware workstation. It is installed. I will now start VMware workstation pro and then I can create a virtual machine. So we have done step number two install VMware now we will create a virtual machine now here you can click on create new virtual machine and I will say next and now here 
you can give the installer or the disk image or it is also called as ISO ISO now in my case I have already downloaded a Ubuntu ISO you can go to your browser and say download Ubuntu and this will take you to this download Ubuntu desktop link and from here you can just click on this download this will download a Ubuntu ISO like this in my case you can see this is a 64-bit Ubuntu desktop and this is what I can use to create a virtual machine so I have selected this installer disk image and I have selected the Ubuntu desktop ISO and say next here you can give your name and set some password so this is required for Ubuntu and say next and this is the location of the virtual machine next and you can set the hard disk size you want to provide here whatever you want and then say next and you can see all this configuration and information is provided here and I will say finish and now you can see it will start the virtual machine however in my case it is saying VM workstation and Hyper-V are not compatible remove the Hyper-V role from the system before running VMware workstation so in my case I have actually already disabled it let me try to disable it again using this command and this is done and then I can restart my system and check again now because I am using a Amazon EC2 AWS a Windows system which is already a virtual machine and virtualization within a virtual machine or nested virtualization is not supported and therefore I may face these issues in starting this virtual machine if you have seen the earlier video on how to install virtual box on Windows I face the same issue so if you are using a physical Windows system having Windows OS and a physical system then you might not face this issue otherwise uh, in case you are using a virtual machine it will be not straightforward to start a virtual machine within a virtual machine so I hope if you are using your Windows system your physical system you should be able to run a virtual machine on your Windows using VMware and these are the steps that you can follow I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching